All right, so the easy part is laying out the floor. The, I wouldn't call it hard part, but the part that takes a little bit more effort and thought process is cutting. Now, I have a floor tile cutter, but I'm telling you, you don't need a floor tile cutter if you can't get a hold of one easily or inexpensively. The only reason I have a floor tile cutter is because I find myself doing this flooring all the time. And it's, you know, six, seven, eight, nine hundred bucks, depending on where you get it and where you find it. If you can rent one, great. If not, you can cut it with any kind of table saw or chop saw. Like we did Ed Bullion's entire garage, which is bigger than this, uh, and all kinds of funky angles with a, with a circular saw. So the first thing you need to do is you need to figure out which way is the tile go. So it goes like this, and I'm going to cut this funky piece right here. Now, the wall isn't straight, so uh, that presents problem number one. Uh, in this particular section, we've got a problem in that we've got a flat spot and a slightly curved spot and then a flat spot. Uh, and so for this piece here, we got a little bit more work to do to get this right. So the first thing I need to do is make sure I orient the tile properly. Now the, the biggest mistake you'll make, which you just uh, you always need to be double check your work, is that you know I'm going to measure here and then I will have a tendency to measure here. Well, that doesn't work. I've got to measure on this side because I'm going to save this portion of the tile, not that portion. Uh, and so I always want to orient the tile so that I'm doing this correctly. Using a Sharpie, what I'm going to do is figure out my depth here. So this is uh, two and a quarter, a little less than two and a quarter. Uh, and so I'm going to measure off. This piece is a little bit more complicated. And then this flat area here is about, uh, about a little less than two and a quarter as well. And so I'm going to come off of this, make a little dot here, right there. And then make my line at two and a quarter. And so I need to go get a straight edge. I'm going to just use another tile. So I'm going to cut that straight. I just need this. So now, one of the problems I have is that this wall is surely not straight. So I know I need to cut that straight. So let's take this dimension here. So from here to the end of the tile. So I'm going to take and get this dimension or this length. So it's one and an eighth. So right at, actually I'm going to start on the edge here. Do this first. So I'm at one, you know, one and three sixteenths roughly. I go here. One three sixteenths, and then this flat spot here is is that twenty nine? We'll just use the metric side. Was that uh, twenty nine centimeters? So we're gonna come all the way out to here. So that's our length, and then this was one and an eighth. So right at my dot. And then that at that spot was one and an eighth. It's pretty close. So that's our spot there. And then from here, we just kind of eyeball it. And that this has got to come from my two inches and kind of curve out like this a little bit. That's gonna curve down, down to there. So this will be straight across, this will be straight across, and that will be curved out. I just double check my dimension here. This was two, two and three sixteenths. Yeah, good, okay. So now I need this piece, this piece, and then it comes and I need that piece. And so that's going to go from there to there. And I need that little section to go that way. And it slightly curves out. And so here's how I'll cut this one. So we'll use the floor towel cutter. 
What you could do is just use a straight edge and, and run across. So I'm going to floor tile cut here and then I'm going to jigsaw cut that because my chop saw is not here. So if you do have a floor tile cutter, you really need one that has a shorter blade so you have the opportunity to make cuts like this on it. If you can. So that'll give me a lengthwise cut. It'll get stuck on here. And I'm gonna take my jigsaw and make this other cut. For this garage, this is one of the more sophisticated cuts. And I'm not, I'm not visualizing how this needs to go. It needs to go that way, right? Yeah. So I need to curve it out like this if I can a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm totally backwards on this. As soon as I turn it upside down, I forget. So that way, curve that way. Dang. It's just a little bit of a, I might have to go trim it a little bit more, but let's see if we can ram it in there. So that's our piece. This is why I never do how to videos. This is just how I video, how I do it. Yeah, it's going to work. Now, this is not the easiest thing in the world to get in here because it's going to be tight. Actually, I'm going to have to. Uh, it, it might go. Let's see. Did I cut this short? I did, didn't I? Take that down there. Oh man. How did I get that so wrong? It doesn't really matter because this piece is over here in the corner, but I did cut it a little bit short. Cut it a freaking quarter inch short. Did I not just measure that two times? Like, how did I get one and an eighth out of that? I don't know. What do you think? Is that good enough? I You're think. asking me. <laughs> Moron. Dang it. I'm gonna redo it. So that just cost me seven bucks, six eighty. Don't do that. Good news is now I can use this piece because I got this part right. So this needs to be. Oh, I see what I did. I did one and an eighth. Freaking idiot. One and five eighths. Yeah. Dumb dumb. I thought that looked a little slim. Do this again. So this is part of the game here. Let's just say I did this on purpose. And sometimes you're gonna think you have it right, and you're gonna be wrong. That's the story of my life, though. But I eventually get it right. Maybe. Yeah, I just, I triple checked that too. Accurate. Now, all right, 
So let's pop this in. That's a little bit more accurate there. There we go. And so to cover up this this uh, this light, the um, uh, the whatever it is called this this stuff, the tread wear is actually going to come all the way out to here. So we'll get that we'll get that dialed in here shortly. Make sure we work the tile properly. That's another thing that all you'll screw up. You know, you'll be like, oh, this is it, I got it. Especially as you get longer in the day. So you gotta make sure you do it right. And so, because this wall, let's see how straight it is. So we're one and five eighths. A little bit over one and five eighths. One and three quarters plus one, whatever that is. So this is one advantage of floor tile cutters. I don't have to run the line across, but if I was cutting with a saw or table saw, um, then I would, I would want to make the line so that I could cut it. But the floor tile cutter does allow me to not have to use a square because I can just turn it at the angle that I need to cut. So line up that line. And then I need to turn it a little bit to get my straight cut. And then we'll be able to use this on the back here if we need it. Why does that look way bigger? <laughs> Dang it, man. What am I doing? That I did two. I did two. I did. You dummy. <laughs> oh man. One, one and five eighths, not two and five eighths. <laughs> I swear. Yesterday I cut that whole other wall and it didn't make a single improper cut, and I made two for two here on camera. But. We'll leave this stuff in the video because this is what you'll do as well. I don't care how, how smart you are. You'll probably make some cuts just like this, where you measure it wrong, cut it long, cut it short, cut the wrong side of the tile. This is why you can't buy the exact amount. There we go, not too shabby there, Maddie. All right, so. The good news on this, this wall, I can use the half cut tiles from the other wall. And so, we'll grab these ones. This one doesn't because this was on the, on the side wall. So those won't work. This won't work. But these should. Yeah. That's the way it goes, I think, yeah. So these are good, good tiles to cut. And so we're compensating for the wall's jankiness. So that's at three and a half, not two and a half, not four and a half, three and a half. And then up here at the other end of the tile is three and nine sixteenths, or three and a half plus one in Maddie math. Is that correct? Yeah. Loop should be painting pointing back. I should have a flat spot on this side. Okay, let's see if I actually did one right. Good. Now this tile is done. Garbage. So the reason why we ended up doing two cuts on each side is this wall is way off. And so I shifted the tiles off to the left a little bit. It also allowed me to catch the proper distance with my tread wire on that door. So um, I was able to cut all these and not have some weird, you know, not straight line. So now I take this, we pop it in place. So now this is where you, if you follow the instructions of Swiss tracks, oh, I didn't do a great job there, the, uh, the wall really, 
takes a turn. But that's good enough. So if you're following the instructions, you should probably leave a gap maybe even bigger than that because the floor can expand and contract. But I don't I don't listen to those rules. I set my own rules. Plus this is air conditioned anyway. Alright, let's keep going. So let me go line up a bunch of pieces here. So I'm just cutting out the little corner piece here. Now let's move this a little closer. There we go. Corner complete. All right. So now we can mow through these. And this side is a lot easier to put in place than the other side was. I don't have to lift it, I just put it in place. All right, so I'm gonna cut all of these, work my way down. I'm gonna cut on the threshold here so that it butts up against it. So I have to make some more elaborate cuts here. Uh, and then when you get to the corner, but the whole idea is measure, hopefully twice. Dang it, I hate how that one's. <sighs> so I promise you, most of these I'll cut when I'm not on camera proper size so you can see you know over here has been done so I did all these over here I cut out the door frame and so I've got to cut the rest of the room just so that we're up to standard and I'll come back to you when we're gonna figure out how to do this this threshold on the with tap cons so I'll catch you catch you shortly 